Hey, what's going on, ladies and gents? We have some amazing news, big, big news for Genshin Impact as of right now. They have released or shown us new characters for Dendro 3.0 of Genshin Impact whole Sumeru patch. So this is going to be absolutely amazing. I just reacted to the Tavat chapter interlude teaser, which has to be one of my favorites so far. It has so much going on and I highly recommend you guys see it. It's on the top right corner of my screen. You just click that and you see my reaction, which is going to be uh quite the ride let me tell you now this is one of the new characters dory dory seems to be an electro user i'm not quite sure what they will just yet but if you read here no matter how rare the experimental materials are you can buy them from dory i don't know where she gets her goods from uh, I think Tenari, that's how you say it, says this. Tenari is actually one of the new characters, so we're going to see them quite soon here. They look absolutely amazing. This is quite the cool character. I like the glass or like the sunglasses. Very cool. And I don't see a vision anywhere. At least not what I can see. Oh, there it is. I see the vision. <laughs> okay, it took me a second, but I see the vision. Electro vision. Pretty awesome there i'm highly 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 excited for that i'm not sure if they are a four star or a five star character now this is pretty exciting stuff we have a new dendro bow character which is going to be insane goes by the name of kole kole is a dendro character and you can see the vision right here i think that's a sumeru vision which is pretty amazing we have the it looks like a leaf almost which makes sense it pays tribute to the whole Sumeru region and i'm just really excited first dendro character well at least one of the first right i'm not sure if they are going to be a five star or four star uh oh you're going to Sumeru. can you give my regards to kole well it's been so long i wonder if her hair has grown out and if she's taller okay so amber and kole are friends and it looks like uh we're going to see uh, kole very soon and of course, 3.0 of Genshin Impact. This is insane. I'm quite excited for this. It's going to be a bow user. So she's going to have a pretty interesting role in the whole Genshin Impact universe. Now we have Tenari as well. They look absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to use Tenari. I'm not quite sure what kind of character Tenari is. I don't see any weapon on the screen. I don't see a bow, a uh, claymore, or whatever, but I do see this weird plant looking sphere thing. Uh, they might be a catalyst user. I'm not really quite sure, but I'm quite excited. And if we read here, I brought back a specialty from the desert two packs of honey dates. Oh, two packs of honey dates, which have sort of replenished energy whether in the morning or night. An anonymously source. Okay, a little bit of a mistranslation. But very, I really like the character design. Super awesome. The colors fit in really well. I see the red and the little teal color or cyan. I'm not really quite sure. And we see the Dendro Vision right there. These characters look absolutely amazing. And I cannot wait to try them all out. We also have some new stuff about the banners. Now we have obviously the new event. And we can see uh, Kazaha's banner right here. I don't think this is the greatest banner of all time, but I really like Toma as a character, even though he's not the most meta character. He is pretty cool. And Heizo is here, or he Heizu is what they called him in the live stream. So we're going to say Heizu. And this is a good banner to go for, not the greatest for newcomers or new Genshin Impact players. Obviously Heizo and uh toma are both in a zoom in characters so you're going to have a tough time trying to get their materials of a new character or if you're a new player rather but yeah they look absolutely amazing i cannot wait to try hazel in the upcoming future i have their um, or his materials ready so it's going to be pretty awesome there uh ningguang obviously in the back we can see uh ningguang is a cool dps character if you guys want to try ningguang out but I wouldn't recommend just summoning for Ningguang. She's going to be a million and one banners. So, uh, yeah. I mean, if you want Ningguang, she is there, which is pretty cool. We also have the new story quest. And this is the weapon banner that we're going to see as well alongside Kazaha. 
and it looks like we're going to see the lost pair to the sacred winds obviously because Klee is also making a rerun at the same time we have the alley flash which is an awesome weapon especially for bennett we got the witsith which is a good weapon of choice for hazo uh i'm not i don't think this is a good weapon for anyone the the M bomb, call it because I don't really know how to pronounce it. But Favonian stands, pretty good. Uh, we don't even talk about the claymore there. Uh, we've got uh, Deluxe outfit, which is absolutely insane. <laughs> it's freaking insane, actually. And we also got Klee's banner. I don't see it here. Oh, I guess they forgot to post it. But here is Klee's banner as well. Pretty much the same banner. It is the same banner, just with Klee instead interesting interesting stuff going on here i'm super excited a lot to uh uncover here and if you guys want to read this i'll give you the time to read this you can just pause whenever you want obviously we've got the new event with the new official skin and wait i think this is the new official skin are they giving out the free fish you can complete the phantom realms challenges to obtain Iridescent Floatsum, accumulate a specified number of Iridescent Floatsum to invite Fischl. So you can get a free Fischl, which is insane. I think this is... Okay, cool. You can get a free Fischl again for the second time. So this is going to be a pretty nice constellation. Hopefully, if you guys uh, need some constellations there. But I think we've covered pretty much everything. I'm pretty excited for all of these characters. I know I've been talking a lot throughout this video. But I'm super excited. The Tevat interlude chapter teaser is so good. I really recommend you guys um, watch my video. It's going to be on your screen right now because I'm ending the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel as well. Let me know what you guys think of the new characters. Are you guys excited as I am? Because this is insane. Three new characters are coming in 3.0. So it's going to be pretty nice. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.